Hey, it's Harry, and today we're going to look at how simple it is to get set up with your Evo 8 audio interface. We've designed Evo 8 to be super easy to set up so you can spend more time recording, playing, and just being creative. Inside the box, you'll find the Evo 8 unit, a quick start guide, as well as a USB-C to C cable. Evo 8 is powered solely from your computer, so to get started, just plug it in using the USB-C cable. If you have a computer with USB-A ports, then you'll need to get hold of a USB-A to C cable. And bear in mind that if you do use the USB-A connection, that you'll only be able to get two channels of 48 volt phantom power for your condenser microphones at any one time. Evo 8 will work with both Mac and Windows computers, but to begin with, you'll need to download the drivers from our website. This will give you access to the Evo mixer, which allows you to route your audio, the ability to change various settings on Evo 8, and to ensure that your Evo 8 is running the latest firmware. On a Mac, just drag the application into the Applications folder. And when you open it, it will create an Evo icon in the menu bar. This will let you access all of the different features. Then to set Evo 8 as your sound device on your computer, you just need to go to the System Preferences sound menu and then set Evo 8 as your input and output device. On Windows, once you've downloaded the driver, follow the installation process through and then open the app. This will create an Evo icon in the system tray in the bottom right of the screen. And if you right click on this, you have access to all the different features. To set Evo 8 as the sound device on your PC, you just need to go to the Windows setting app. Go to sound and then select Evo 8 as the input and output device. For older versions of Windows, you can set Evo 8 as the sound device through the sound menu in the control panel. Now you have Evo 8 connected and installed, it's time to get some audio going. To start recording with Evo 8, plug your microphones or line level equipment into the inputs on the back. Or if you're wanting to use an electric guitar or a bass, for example, then use the instrument input on the front. And remember that the instrument input comes in on channel one. So if you're wanting to record microphones alongside it, you'll need to use inputs two, three, and four on the rear. If you're using a condenser microphone, then you're going to need to use phantom power. To activate phantom power on a channel, you just need to press the channel that the microphone is connected to and then press the 48 volt button. This will light up red when it's activated. You can select phantom power on any or all of the mic preamps at the same time, provided you're using the USB-C connection. Remember, if you are using a USB-A connection, you'll only be able to select two channels for phantom power at any one time. So now you have everything plugged in that you want to use, it's really important to set your inputs correctly. This way you can get the best quality recording when you bring it into the computer. Now on Evo 8, it's got a really useful smart gain feature which will automatically set the perfect inputs for you. And it's really easy to set up. You just press the green smart gain button and then you select the channels that you want to set the gain for. And then you press the green smart gain button again. Now the LEDs will animate to show that it's in smart gain mode. At this point, you want to sing or speak or do whatever you're going to be doing when you're recording, and Evo 8 will set the gain appropriately. Once the Smart Gain button turns green, it means that it's set the perfect level for your inputs and you're ready to start recording. If you want to manually tweak your input levels or you don't want to use Smart Gain at all and you'd rather do it manually, then you just have to press the input that you want to change the gain for and then rotate the main knob. The LED ring around the outside will give you a visualization of what level you've set it to. Now open up your audio software. In most audio software, you'll need to set Evo 8 as the input and output device so it can send and receive audio with your computer. To do this, the settings usually found in some sort of preferences or settings menu, so it's best to check exactly how you do it in your individual software. Now create a channel in your audio software, set the input to the input you're using, and you're ready to record. So we have audio coming from your microphones or instruments into Evo 8 and then into your computer. But now we need to get audio coming out of your computer and into some speakers or headphones. So you can plug some speakers into the speaker outputs on the back of Evo 8, or you can plug headphones into the front. And when you plug your headphones in, it will automatically mute the corresponding speaker output to make sure that you don't get spill or your speakers being picked up in your microphones while you're recording. You can adjust the volume of each of your outputs by pressing the corresponding output button on the top of the unit and then rotating the main knob. And if you want to quickly mute the outputs, you just have to hold the button down until it flashes. Evo 8 comes with the Evo Mixer, which lets you control exactly what comes out of your speakers and headphones. This also includes the ability to alter the ultra low latency monitoring of your inputs. 
This means you can listen to exactly what's happening live on your inputs, as well as a backing track from your computer, but with no distracting delays, enabling you to get the most out of your sessions. You're also able to create a completely custom headphone mix for when you're working with people who want to listen to something different to what you're listening to. For an in-depth look at the Evo Mixer, please go and watch our Evo Mixer overview video. So now you have everything you need to get Evo 8 set up. But do remember, if you register your Evo 8 on our website, you'll gain access to a bunch of free software and resources to help you with your productions. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with more Evo 8 related videos. And if you're having any trouble getting set up, then please head over to the help pages on our website or get in touch with our support team who'd be happy to help you get up and running.